Hi there, my name's Bob Wilson from AutoEnglish.org where people learn English for free and this is a, an English video lesson about the 10 most common verbs in the English language. The most common verb in English is, can you guess? The verb to be. Be is a special verb because it is the only verb in English with two different irregular forms in the past simple. Listen and repeat. Be, was, were, been. Be is also special because it is both an auxiliary verb, listen and repeat, I am speaking and a main verb. Listen and repeat. We are English students. It is also used to say that something exists. Listen and repeat. There's an apple on the table. The second most common verb in English is, can you guess? Have. Have is an irregular verb. Listen and repeat. Have, had, had. Have is similar to be because it can also be both an auxiliary verb and a main verb. Listen and repeat. I have been to Glasgow. We had a great time. The third most common verb is do. Do is an irregular verb. Listen and repeat. Do, did, done. Do is an auxiliary verb and a main verb. It is important for making questions and negative verbs. Listen and repeat. Do you like vegetarian food? I don't eat chicken. We did everything. The fourth most common verb is say. Say is an irregular verb. Listen and repeat. Say, said, said. Listen and repeat. I'm sorry, what did you say? The fifth most common verb in English is will. Will is an auxiliary verb with three main uses. Instant decisions. Listen and repeat. I'll help if you want. 
predictions. Listen and repeat. In the future, all cars will be electric. The first conditional. Listen and repeat. If you're late, I'll be angry. The sixth most common verb in English is would. Would is also an auxiliary verb. Would has two important uses. Making offers. Listen and repeat. Would you like a cup of tea? And for the second conditional, in other words, for using our imagination. Listen and repeat. If I were rich, I'd buy a ship. The seventh most common verb in English is get. Get is an irregular verb. Strangely, the past participle is different in North America and Britain. Listen and repeat. Get got got. Get got gotten. Get is a terrible verb because it has so many different meanings. Here are three common ones. Listen and repeat. She got great marks in her exams. I got home at ten. I got angry when he was rude. Verb number eight is go. Go is an irregular verb. Listen and repeat. Go. Went. Gone. Number nine is make. Make is an irregular verb. Make, made, made. Make is often confused with do. Why? Because they have a similar meaning. Make is often about preparation. Listen and repeat. I made a cake. Do is often about action. Listen and repeat. I'm doing my exercises. Make is used in a lot of expressions. Listen and repeat. I made the right decision. Oops, I've made a mistake. And number ten is can. Can is a very strange verb because it has no infinitive. We had to invent one. 
and it's pretty horrible, but here it is. Be able to. Disgusting, but whatever. Listen and repeat. Be able to. Could. Been able to. Can is a modal verb. A what? A modal verb is an auxiliary verb which modifies or changes a bit the meaning of the main verb. Can can modify in two ways. Permission. Listen and repeat. Can I use your mobile? And about ability. Listen and repeat. Jane can play the piano. Quiz time. Which three verbs are both auxiliary verbs and main verbs? Which verb has no infinitive form? Which verb is often confused with do? True or false? There are no regular verbs in the 10 most common verbs list. True. This is strange because only 1% of English verbs are irregular. Which verb has two different irregular forms in the past simple. Which verb is important for making questions? Remember, when we have a modal verb, we don't need do. Which verb do we use for instant decisions? Which auxiliary verb do we use for using our imaginations? Which verb is terrible because it has so many meanings? OK, so that's the end of the video about the 10 most common verbs in English. I hope you found it interesting. And remember to visit autoenglish.org where people learn English for free. So, it's goodbye from me, Bob Wilson. <laughs>